Hi there, it's Dan here from Flexible and today I'm going to talk to you about how to use AI for your copywriting, content and image creation. Let's dive in. Okay, so before I get stuck in with the six tips, I want to um, talk to you about where you can use OpenAI to help your agency and your lead gens and your ads and your creative and all that st stuff. I don't want you to be worried about being replaced by artificial intelligence. There's always, in my opinion, going to be a need for people and agencies that can form a relationship with their client. You know, let's say they're a national solar company or something like that, where they can get the postcodes from, where the most um, installs are being done, and then how to figure out how to position the offer for those installs. Like there's, there's too many moving parts and too much common sense required um, to be able to really help, you know, move the needle a lot for these type of offers. Okay, so I wouldn't be too worried because the offer positioning and coming up with the angles is something that you're not going to be able to be replaced with. But once you've got those those offers and those angles, then you can start spinning it and trying lots of different stuff with AI, if that makes sense. So don't worry too much. But I've got six ways that you can use OpenAI today. So let's run through what these are. Um, and give it a whirl, it's fun, it's easy to use, and I think you're gonna enjoy this video. So the first one is related keyword examples. So let's say you've got a, a big keyword and you wanna find lots of, and you're, you're running search ads or doing SEO or whatever, and you need relevant keywords that are associated with that, that single keyword, then there's a really good and easy way to do this. The first thing you need to do is log in to beta at openai.com, and then once you're logged in and created an account, you can go to playground and and you'll find this screen here and you can just simply type in like give me 10 keywords related to lead generation and click submit and that's going to come up with uh, 10 different options for you um, very very quick very simple and very easy to do and you can just change that around and try lots of lots of different cool stuff like that so Let's say you're running um, Facebook ads, you know, back in the day, and I think you still can, you can go in and use images that Facebook has in their kind of database, royalty free, that works. And there's lots of good stuff there, but there's even better options in here with, with OpenAI. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So it's called uh, Dell-E, and I've tested this about six months ago and it was quite primitive, but what's happening now is it's come on leaps and bounds. So let's show you what this looks like over back on my screen. So you can scroll down to image generation and click open in a new tab. You'll see image generation. Um, and then you can click on this Dell-E preview app, open that. And you can copy and paste in here, which I've got preloaded. A sad family on the sofa looking at their bills in pop art style, completely random. I wanted to show you what that looks like. You can see it's loading here. So uh, as you can see here, the Sad family on a sofa looking at bills in pop art style if you're running debt consolidation ad or something like that. I'm not saying these images are gonna work particularly well, but what I would say is that you're gonna have some original images here that you can use and test very, very quickly. And then what you can do is right click here. Oh no, sorry. Click on that, the three buttons here and download the, um, download the image. I don't even know what generate variations does probably do variations of that individual image. Um, I'm not gonna go into what that looks like here, but as you can see, it just can keep spinning and spinning and spinning the different uh, ideas that you have for an image and there's no, no limit basically to what you wanna do. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna talk to you about is creating ad copy for your, for your ads, right? And a lot of you have seen the trick that I've spoken about where you can change the first three lines of a, a Facebook ad and keep everything else the same. And what you'll find is that one or two of the, the variations of those first three lines are, re are really gonna be the one that hit home, which is gonna reduce your cost per lead and give you that, um, you know, that little bump in profit that you, you're gonna need, right? So let's say you have those first three lines in a Facebook ad and you're stumped for ideas on what you can write there. Um, you can go over to OpenAI, um, open up the playground section, which I'm gonna show you how to do here again. Write 10 Facebook ads about um, and then you've got the parentheses um, and or the, the ad copy in here with a colon after it. And um, after you press submit, ads are coming up here. Get the ultimate guide for agency owners who need 
help with Facebook ads? Our, um, are you trying to allow more clients with Facebook ads? Get our fugly Facebook ads and simple swipe file and start seeing results now. Some really good kind of variations that are all different. Um, it's only given a seven for some reason. Uh, oh, there we go. So now we're up to 10. And uh, as you can see here, some really good variations. Very simple and easy to do. Um, and it's gonna really help you if you wanna get some good uh, variations of ad copy up and, and spin lots of different types of copy and get going quickly. It's pretty cool, hey? Okay, so the next tip we're gonna talk about is uh, using uh, OpenAI to be able to write video scripts. Okay, so if you're running YouTube ads and you're struggling for copy, then this is a really good way to just kind of put a suggestion out to OpenAI and then just let it let it go and do its thing. And this is pretty cool as well. I'm just gonna grab um, some copy here. Write a two minute video script about an agency owner who's struggling with his clients, wanting him to do too much work for no extra money. The solution to his problem is to change from retainer contracts to performance marketing. The call to action is check out our free training on how to grow an agency to seven figures with one client or less. So we press go. So we've got an opening, a transition, a solution, and a call to action, and then a closing. Um, and uh, I haven't I even read this. Uh, it's all first person, which is cool. That's why I decided to switch from retainer contract before performance marketing into win-win for both my clients and me. That's incredible that's come up with, it, with that. That's one of our hooks. Um, I can measure my success more accurately. My clients will only pay for the results they want. If you're an agency like me and you want to know how to grow your agency, then check out this free training. Um, so very simple, <laughs> so fast, and uh, that's actually a pretty good script. I like it. All right, so uh, another example, um, we're heavy on email marketing. Um, so once we get people into our database, we like to email them uh, every day and move them from offer to offer, if we, depending on what our kind of hook is and what our angle is into the market. Um, and one thing that we really want to do is kind of form a bond with our with our um, prospects and be able to get them to know, like, and trust us with really good emails, right? So you can actually use OpenAI to do this as well. So I'm going to head back over, write a story about a mum who has been struggling with her energy bills, but ends up downloading our guide, The 10 Ways to Slash Your Energy Bills, and ends up saving a thousand pounds per year. Let's come up with a name, Sylvia. She's a mother of three working full time and struggling to uh, juggle the demands of family life. She tried to reduce her usage by turning off lights and appliances. Um, one day a website um, downloaded and hope it was able to provide. The guide was full of useful information. Um, delighted with the results, blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I think there would need to be some tweaking um, for, for the, email, the quality of emails that we send, but it's pretty amazing, isn't it? How, how they can take a small instruction like that and turn it into something that's actually pretty pretty accurate and uh, quite easy to read and, and um, entertaining. So it's pretty cool. The next tip is pretty cool as well, right? Because we're actually pushing um, information to be able to, to be able to get people onto our database. You know, we're all about data at the moment and building a big, huge email list. Um, so we can position, put them to different offers and um, monetize people more than once, right? You know, one of the ways we do that is with lead magnets. So we need data and statistics and um, ways to kind of um, show that we're an authority in different types of markets, right? So the next one you can do is actually get AI to help with statistics and help find information for you. So, so give me 10 statistics for the debt industry in the UK in 2023 with their references. Total UK debt is projected to be 2.3 trillion. The average British household is expected to owe 36,400. Over 10 million households will be in debt. Personal loans will account for 8%. Consumer credit, you know, and there's all different sources here. Mortgage will account for 65% of UK debt. The interest rate on borrowing is projected to be this. So you can use this. Over 4 million people are expected to be in a debt problem in 2023. So that's step change. That's 4 million out of 60 odd. That's a scary number. Um, Student loan debt is 200 billion. These are all 2023 um, stats as well, which is which is pretty cool. So, um, you know, I'm I'm super impressed, as I'm sure you are. To recap, 
OpenAI is a tool which is fantastic, right? There's no two ways around it. Um, you can use it for image creation, for copy, for headlines, for research. Um, you can do all sorts of amazing stuff to get statistics. It's just a tool that you can probably create an account with and get started and just use it like every now and again and keep that tab open because uh, it, it, is, it is a very, very powerful tool that you can use moving into 2023 and I recommend you give it a go. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video today. It's a bit of a different one, me on the screen interacting. Um, if you have liked it and you want us to do more like this, then please um, give us a like or a thumbs up. Uh, please comment below if you're struggling or you don't know where to find the help or whatever that is and we'll get back to you. And lastly, subscribe to our channel so you'll be the first to know when new videos like this come out. I'll speak to you soon.